alaikum all. In the previous lecture, we discussed about the author of the novel, Such a Long Journey, Rohington Mystery. Today, we will be talking about the outline story of the novel, Such a Long Journey. As we all know that this novel, Such a Long Journey, was written in 1991. The scenes are set in 1970 or 1971 the time of war between india and pakistan when bangladesh was made rohindan mystery he belongs to a particular community which is called as parsi parsi is a minority in india they migrated from persia in 5th or 6th century then Khudadad is the name of a building which has been described by the writer in the novel where uh, the characters live. Gustad Noble, he is the hero, the protagonist of the novel. He lives with his wife Dilnawaz and uh, three children Sohrab, Dariesh and Roshan. They live in an apartment in Khudadad building. Blackout paper has covered their windows since war with China years before. Gustad Noble, at 50, he is healthy. His wife Dilnawaz is attractive, good-natured and efficient. His son Sohrab has just been admitted to the IIT and both his younger son Darish and his daughter Roshan are intelligent and obedient children. Nobles, Gustav Nobles only worries are the stench outside his apartment building caused by passers by urinating on the wall. The repression of the Bengalis in East Pakistan and more immediately a letter from his old friend Major Jimmy Billy Moria asking Gustav to make bank deposits that will provide relief for Bengali refugees. Gustav Noble, he has three friends. Dinshaji, Tahmul Langra and Major Billy Moria. Dinsha ji, he works in a bank and he is a very good friend of uh, Gustad Noble. But he suffers from the disease of cancer and he died of that disease. Another friend of Gustad Noble is Tahmul. Tahmul is mentally not fit. He is a mentally uh, retarded kind of person. When there is turmoil over the protesters march against the city to protest poor living conditions, workmen have come to Khudadad building to widen the road in front of the complex. Fighting erupts between the protesters and the city workers, Tahmul steps outside, is hit in the head by the brick and dies. Another friend of... Uh, Gustav Noble is Major Billy Moria. We have already discussed about this particular character in the previous lecture. He is also called as Jimmy. Major Billy Moria is also called as Jimmy. He is secretly involved in uh, the movement against Indira Gandhi's corrupt government. Okay, and this was the time when things begin to go wrong. Sohrab, who was an intelligent uh, son of uh, Gustav Noble, when he got selected in IIT, he refuses because he loves arts and literature. He is more interested in arts. Gustav got angry with Sohrab and the father and the son, they had a very hard talk and finally Sohrab left the home. 
uh, Roshan, the only daughter who is just nine years old, she develops a stomach disorder, and her parents cannot agree as to how to treat her. Neither the folk remedies of Dilnawaz, nor the expensive medicines of back street doctor whom Gustad trusts seems seem to help. Gustad's only success is in that trouble uh, period of his life involves the wall. He hires an artist uh, to cover it with religious figures representing every faith and immediately the urination uh, ceases. Okay, then uh, when the packets of bills begin arriving from the major uh, Jimmy Billy Moria, Gustav Noble begins to think that he has made a mistake. At first, he hides the money in his apartment, think thinking that it might be best to return it. But vandalism and explicit treats change his mind. The noble is informed that the major has been arrested, and he discovers that the money was never meant to aid refugees, but was intended to swell the coffers of high officials including the Prime Minister herself. In the end, though the Major is executed, Noble escapes prosecution and keeps his job. His daughter Roshan gets well and Sohrav and he are reconciled. However, Noble has lost his innocence. He can no longer be certain about the future. It seems as unreliable as the wall he had preserved and beautified, which in the final pages of the novel is being knocked down by government order. It was all about the novel. In the next lecture, we will uh, discuss the critical analysis of the novel. Thank you so much for your kind patience. Allah Hafiz.